All right, l l let me, I want to do my best to try to just go down the list, all right, and just kind of establish where we are, where we're going to be, what we're doing here. There is so much blame to go around for whatever that was last night. I struggle to even try to put this in one segment, but I will do my best. Now, obviously, it begins and ends with Caldwell. You okay? No, nah, I'm gonna. I don't find any of that funny. His patronizing of one of the best beat writers in the NFL is a joke. Calm down a little bit, will you? This guy's incompetent. I've said this for a long time. I don't care what good he does. I don't care about his calmness. How somehow being this emotionless mime is good for the team? Fine. But in a big spot, what have I always said? This guy will find a way to screw it up. He's incompetent. His track record as an NFL head coach in the big spots, incompetence. Did you just lose the game? I mean, you're in a dogfight last night. It's a 13-12 game. You just lost your right tackle, Rick Wagner. You're in the game without your left tackle. You got a guy who was who was a waiter two weeks ago in Bob Mahalik, or whatever his name is. And you pass up taking the lead to do what? Drop back in the shotgun and throw a pass that turned into a quarterback run? Then you come back down the field you get stymied again on the goal line, and then you kick the field goal. It's incompetence. I've always asked for just one thing. Like, I, I, if I don't like your offensive schemes, or I don't like your defensive schemes, or I don't like you, all of that can be washed away. Just run the game right already. Just run it right. Just do what's right. That's it. it. It just, I hate field goals. I'm the guy who tells you field goals get you beat. They do. And maybe your fate was sealed because you had already kicked four of them. But it's 13-12. I got 20 minutes of football left. Take the lead. You can't run it. And your quarterback was a corpse in the red zone last night. You got to just take the points. You just take them. It's right there for you. Take them. Oh, my God. He's he's a nincompoop. He's an absolute nincompoop. It, it just it drives me nuts because I, I have spent my entire adult life here. This isn't football. I hate this team. Oh, my God. It just... We're sitting here on a Monday, and this guy's more concerned with patronizing a quality reporter. How about you just answer a question? Here's the question. Why are you so stupid? You're okay. You're, you're all right. You're Why? All right. Just calm down. Why are you you? Why? Like, I try to live with this guy's faults. I, I try. I try to ignore all of it. The fact that he doesn't answer a question, the fact that he's combative with people that are just trying to do their job, the fact that I think he doesn't run the game right, the fact that I can't trust him in a big spot, I try. But again, damn it, the field goal is there. You don't have a good play in the red zone. You don't have a money play, because if you did, you would have already used it. You ain't got it. Take the points, go up, let's move forward. Now, if you decide, I don't want it. I want to go for it. I want to show everybody how big my balls are. Okay. Now, it's not the right move. You can do it, but here's what you're going to do the rest of the game. If you don't get it, you're going to be chasing those points, which means after you fail... And after somehow, somehow, you allowed a 97-yard seam route to go to Pleasure Town, now you're down 20 to 12. The next time you go down there, 
you can't turn around and kick the field goal. What does Nincompoop, what does he do? Kicks the field goal to make it 20 to 15. Let me get this straight now. You passed up the points earlier. You're going to come back, take the three. Field goal won't help you now. You're still going to be down by two. And you're going to still have to score a touchdown. If you're going to go for it the first time, go for it the second time. Here's the point. Don't go for it. You stink. Just take the three. 15-13. Take the three. I can't find my way around this guy. Did you just lose the game? He's, he's, he's insufferable. And all NFL fans want, run the game right. Just do the things that the book of football tells you to do. Sweet Jesus. You okay? It's, it's. I will move on from Caldwell because the, look at this list I have. All I do is write bullet points and I'm, I fill the page. You're okay. You're you're all right. You're all right. Just calm down. I mean, Stafford enough. Like, I sit there, all right, he's gotten sacked 17 times the last three games. Can't keep your quarterback upright. He's got two bad ankles. On. Look, you make a zillion dollars. I thought the line played well. I don't care what Caldwell says. I don't want to hear about it. I thought the offensive line in the situation they were in played pretty damn well. Stafford, two for 11 in the red zone. Two for 11. It's not possible. It's not possible to have nine incomplete passes in 11 attempts in today's NFL. It's not. Like, I sit here and I try to defend Stafford and go, look, the the the, the, the whole record versus teams that are winning record and a whole label about stat pad for – what do you want me to say? You're a football team. You go into the red zone five times and the best you come out with six times. You come out with four field goals. What do you want me to say? Got to be better. I don't want to hear about if he had completed it, it would have been a breakout performance. Ah, that's great. And if I had a horn coming out the front of my head, I'd be a unicorn. You didn't. I thought Stafford had no pocket awareness last night, ran himself into trouble multiple times, and nothing I could say. Then the best part is you're like, all right, that's it. You blame the coach, you, you blame the quarterback, you move on. You can't. I mean, Jim Bob Cooter, I, 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 it's like, bro, if you're only good between the 20s, I can't do nothing with you. In a game like last night, here's where I'm at with Jim Bob Cooter. I may not be the smartest guy in the world. In fact, I know I'm not. But there is something schematically wrong with their running game. Whatever Jim Bob Cooter is designing, there is something broken in the scheme. I, I mean, nobody looks this bad. The Bengals don't look this bad, and their offensive line's the worst in football. There's something broken here. And then you go, okay, now we're good. You've blamed the coach, you've blamed the quarterback, you blame the OC. Nope. You can't be done. Look at Bob Quinn now. Forget the fact that another guy he could have drafted instead of this stiff and tease Tabor burned you last night with Juju. I mean, forget it. All of us. I, I don't care. You bring up everything I've gotten wrong in my career. It's irrelevant. I get plenty right, and this is one. David and I sat here. I damn near got on my knees begging this guy, get a running back in the first two days of the draft. I begged them to trade up to get Dalvin Cook. This was the best rookie class in a decade. They didn't do it. Bob Quinn should be ashamed of himself coming into this season with Dwayne Washington and whatever the hell Zach Zenner is, and that's your answer. But wait, there's more. Because even if we said F running backs, we don't want one in the draft. We sat here. I begged you for a million and a half dollars, go get LeGarrette Blount. No, he wouldn't be lead, leading, you know, seven YPC like he is in Philly. But bl nobody wanted him. I mean, you're telling me it might not look a little different with LeGarrette Blount? Did they go and get him? No. And you go, okay, now we're good. Now we're finally in a place where we've got all our blame laid out. You got the quarterback, you got the coach, you got the GM, you got the OC. You can't possibly blame anybody else. Sure you can. How about Golden Tate? Uh, I need more time to run my routes. I feel rushed out here. Bazinga! Fumbles the ball. A ghost caused a fumble. Happy Halloween.
And when I do my job, we all win. Yeah, well, you didn't do your job last night. Marvin Jones, complete bust as a signing. La- last series of the game. Last series of the game, first and goal. Marvin. Or first down at the 16, whatever the hell it was. The ball bounced off your face. Off your face. You're the highest paid receiver on the team. You're the free agent signing from last year. You had a crap year last year. It bounced off your face. Can't happen. Second down, third down, fourth down. Never should have happened. It bounced off your face. Ball off face. Can't happen. Eight and a half million dollar receiver. Cannot happen. But it did happen. So did Stafford, who makes a zillion dollars, checking into a draw play on third and seven. Could not believe my eyes. Well, they only had three down linemen. Matt, they could have no down linemen. They could have three. They could have three dead people in wheelchairs. You guys couldn't run the ball. You were never getting in from the seven yard line when you checked to a draw play ever. Weekend at Bernie's, dead guy, windbreaker, you're not getting in the end zone. Ever. For Stafford to check to that play is insanity. And I don't know what happened after it because him and Jim Bob got into it. I don't know what that is. Hopefully it was Jim Bob going, what the F are you doing? It's just, it's It's nonsense. That's a win. That's a win all day, every day last night. All day. That's a W. Nope. And then I, people like me, who try. God, I actually try to give this team a shot. Why? The easier opinion is to do what every mouth breather does. I just turned my microphone on. Same old lions. I did. I don't know why they put the buttons here. It's just it 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 it's just I, I've had I've just I've had it I've had it just I've had it being here with this team. I don't want this anymore. I want football. I just want to do that. I want to wake up and pretend the last fifteen years of my career has all been a bad dream, and that there is a real football team here. I can't do it. You're okay. You're you're all right. You're all right. Just calm down. And I say it again. For him to do that to Burkett of all people is wrong. Did you just lose the game? Oh, shut up. Here, I, I'll throw the number out. I'm all 248 539 9797. I don't have a cute question. You want to talk about the football game call? 